I'm showing you guys how you can make three really easy and cool slimes, which are butter slime, jelly cube slime, and glow in the dark slime. And these slimes are honestly super, super easy to make. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so for this jelly cube slime, what you'll need is some clear glue along with any type of glitter glue. Now this is so optional, you do not have to use it. I just want it to make a little bit more glittery and blue. And then along with that, I'm using some glitter. And this is also optional, I just want to get that blue color in. And then you'll need something to mix with along with something to mix in. And also a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Now you can use this to make the jelly cubes or you can use any type of foam you have laying around at home. And then you'll need a pair of scissors to cut your jelly cubes out and then any type of activator and in this case I'm just using baking soda with some contact on solution but use any activator of your choice and I'll have um, in the description box a list of activators that you could use and so the first step to make this slime go ahead and pour in your clear glue into your bowl and then I just went ahead and added a little bit of my glitter glue into my bowl as well along with my clear glue and then some glitter to get that blue tone I want and then go ahead and just mix this all up together and I don't know why this was so satisfying but just go ahead and mix that all up together and now it's time to start activating your slime so go ahead and add in a little bit of baking soda and mix that up and then start adding your contact lens solution but make sure you add it little by little and then you'll see your um, slime starting to clump up together. And so now I'm starting to add in my contact lens solution. So add in little by little until it starts clumping up and making your slime. Now for this slime, you don't want to have it super, super sticky like you would have it for a foam. You want it to be a little sticky, but not too sticky to where you can't even poke it. So make sure it's a little sticky, but not like too much. So now just go ahead and start activating your slime. Now once your slime is ready, here is how mine turned out and now just go ahead and put it aside and as you can tell it's pretty sticky but now we're going to start making our jelly cubes. So go ahead and take your magic eraser or any foam that you have at home and go ahead and just take it out and now we're going to start cutting it into cubes. Now this is really really easy, make, it, make them as big or as small as you would like.
Now for the butter slime, what you'll need is some glue along with some activator of your choice. And I'm using the same one as the last DIY. And then you'll need any type of clay of your choice. In this case, I'm using Daiso clay that I got from Amazon. But you can use Model Magic clay or one cup of cornstarch. And those work perfectly fine to make your butter slime. And then you'll need something to mix in along with something to mix with. And so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and pour in some glue into your bowl. And just go ahead and just activate that. Just like we did in the last DIY. last slime is glow in the dark slime so what you'll need is some clear glue along with something to mix in along with something to mix with any type of activator of your choice and then you'll need some glow in the dark powder and i just got mine from amazon and this is super easy to find and it was really really cheap and so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and pour in some clear glue into your bowl and then go ahead and just add in a little bit of baking soda only if you're using contact lens solution as your activator and then just go ahead and pour in a little bit of your glow in the dark powder and I actually ended up using the whole thing which is pretty crazy but it honestly turned out super super cool so I'm so excited and then I went ahead and added some more clear glue on top of that I don't know why I just thought it was way too little and then I just went ahead and and started mixing that up together and it was so much fun and then just pretty much go ahead and start activating after this and add in more powder or more baking soda you guys know the process and go ahead and now just start activating your slime to make this awesome glow in a dark slime and so I hope you guys enjoy it <music>
guys, so that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And so, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Have a fun, fun Wednesday. Peace out. Subscribe.